I love finding new ways to be able to increase website conversions, to do anything that I can to lower lead or customer acquisition costs. And recently I've been playing with a tool that lets you do exactly that. And I'm really excited to be able to share this with you because this does this in a completely new way, which is to add these floating interactive videos to your website. Well, actually to any website, into any page on a website that you want to. And why this is so different is because this allows you to engage with visitors through video and ask them to take a specific action step that you want to. When you do that, that is is what increases the conversions. So you can ask visitors to do a whole host of things like call a phone number, to complete a contact form, visit a specific landing page, to schedule a call or book an appointment. And I've been seeing these pop up more and more on different sites. And so I started to look into exactly which sites can really benefit from these and how to actually go about adding these to the website. And that's exactly what I wanna show you. But I found that this works for a whole host of online businesses, even local retail businesses, businesses that want to be able to connect with their customers online. Marketing agencies, this is something you should be adding to your client websites to help them increase their conversions as well, to get more value out of their website. They will thank you for it. But even adding this to your own agency website, because this adds that personal touch that so many websites, well, they just don't have. They're there, they see a video, it's moving, it's interacting, it's an actual person. And that way you are building up more of that trust already just because people have connections with other people, not just sites. So this is a great way to get these site visitors to take the next action step that puts them one step closer to being a paying customer. So I'm gonna be showing you how I set up this floating interactive video here on the Portable Entrepreneur website very quickly and easily using a tool called Chipbot Pylons. This was completely free for me to set up. I'm gonna show you right now exactly how I did it. This can literally be set up in less than 10 minutes. And the first thing we need to do is head on over to getchipbot.com. And there we are going to set up a free account here. We're gonna put in our URL, our name, all of our account information here to create our account. Once we do that, we are gonna be asked to select between pylons and Nexus. This is the difference of adding the personalized videos versus a knowledge base. So we will select pythons. And now we are given a handful of ways that we can upload a video. I find the easiest way to do this is to simply record a video on your phone. And that way you'll be able to just upload it directly from your phone to your account here. So we'll select that. And now what we need to do is head over to this URL here that you see at the top once your video is recorded. And when we go there, it is going to ask us to put in this code and then we will be able to select the video to upload. On the site, we will then receive a confirmation that the video has been uploaded. And then our video preview is going to populate for us. So as you can see, the video has finished uploading already and we are getting a preview of what it is going to look like on the actual website. But now this is going to allow us to customize it so it better fits in with the look and feel of our website. So this literally only takes a couple of minutes to do. So what we wanna do is we wanna start off with the preview experience. That is the small floating video that appears before someone actually clicks on it and actually starts to interact with it. So we're gonna click on this here and we're looking first here at the theme color. So this is that color that surrounds it here. Right now it is this darkish color. So let's say we wanted to switch this to white. We will just type in that code or we can select a color here. And now we can see that border is white here. Now we're gonna fix the black part these black bars here on the side in just a second. But we can also look at the portrait style. So depending on how you actually recorded your video portrait or landscape, you can adjust it there. Or you can even choose from a square or a circle if you'd prefer to do one of those. And then we can play with how this looks. So let's say we wanted to go with the circle. Now we have the zoom level, so we can crank this zoom level up here. And as you see, we start getting closer and closer. So those bars start to disappear. But I think we're gonna zoom in a little bit and stick with the portrait. And there's still a small black stripe on the side. So I'm gonna increase it just a bit. And now that is gone here. 
Now we also see this section here called show advanced settings. Make sure to click on that. This is going to allow you to choose whether you want the video to float to the left or to the right. And this one here is very, very important. Only show pylon on a specific page. So let's say that you want to create multiple pylons. You want them to appear on different service pages or different product pages or on pages that have different call to actions. So a different video would be more fitting. If you only want this one to appear on a specific page, then you can put that URL here. You don't need to put the full URL of your website. So here we could simply put slash and let's say we want this to say blog or we wanted to have a specific landing page. We would just put the end of the URL like that. And if we want users to be able to close it, so we have this little X icon here so they can actually choose to close that out. If they don't want it, they can do that. So I will click save settings. Now the next thing we need to work on is customizing the full screen experience. So this is when someone actually decides to interact with the pylon, they click on that video, they're going to be able to see a bigger video and actually hear what is being said and be able to interact with it. So that's also important here. So now this is what it's going to look like when it's bigger and we can choose to have this loop or not loop. Once I've said what I needed to say, I want to stop the video and I want them to take the action. So I'm not going to have them loop it, but again, we can get rid of those black sidebars there and just increase it like that. And if we want to have a text overlay, we can do that and we can click on these advanced settings here. And if we want to change the darkness of a video, if it was too bright, we can do that here. So I'm going to save settings. One thing I am going to do is go back to the preview here and I didn't put any overlaying text. So if I want to encourage a user to take a specific action, so let's say we can say something like book a call, schedule a call, get a demo that encourages them to actually click on it. If that's what they're actually there to be able to do. So let's say I have a service page and I am placing this video on there and I want to say, have a question. And that way, if they have a question, they're much more likely to read that and then click on it because they believe that video is going to help them get that question answered. So that's very, very important. And then of course you can change the alignment of that to the top, the middle, the bottom. I usually like to leave it at the bottom just so it's not covering up the person actually talking it just makes it a little more personal there. So we will save those settings. And now we have the most important part, which is the action steps here. As you can see, there are a number of action steps that we can give them. We can have them add a link so we can send them to a specific landing page, add a contact form, phone number, an email or schedule a call or book an appointment on Calendly. So that is really helpful. And even if you do this, that's actually going to allow them to schedule it right here on your website within this widget here. It's not going to take them elsewhere. So it's really, really helpful. So let's say I want to add a phone number and I can say, call me and we'll add in, let's just say, I'll just put in a random phone number here and click save. But you see what happens is now the button appears here. And what I can do is add in a second one. Let's say I want to add a link. And this time what I want to do is it says learn more. So let's say I want to send them to the Portable All Entrepreneur website. And I'm just going to say landing page, just making up a page here as an example. And I can choose to have this open in a new tab, but I'm just going to click save here. And now we see that we have these two call to actions so that when someone is actually watching this video, I'm talking about what they're seeing on the page. And then I'm saying, now here is what you can go do. And I just give them the links to go do it. So we will save that. And now that is done. So that is, that's what you have to do to create this and to customize it. So if it's into the website, you're placing this on super, super easy. And the last thing we have to do is add this to the website. Again, very easy to do. We're going to install the code. Now, if you are not comfortable getting into the code, if you have a developer, this will literally take them a minute of their time at most to do. But for a lot of themes within WordPress, for example, most of them have a scripts section where you're able to go in and then you'll be able to place this HTML below this ending body tag. So you just need to put that there on the website and we'll 
what we'll do is simply click on copy code, copy it, and then we can paste that into the website there. And that is it. You are done. That's all you have to do to have this pylon appear on the website and for the page or pages that you selected. And if you ever want to create more pylons, like I said, we'll come over to this little tab right here and we will see the pylon here it gives us a preview so we know which one it is. And then we can click on new pylon and start the process again. Now, as I mentioned, I set this pylon up completely for free, but if you do want to upgrade, you want to have multiple pylons, you want to use this on multiple websites, you're able to do this as inexpensively as just $10 a month. And so I would definitely encourage you to take a look at this to see if you're really able to add this to your sites, your client sites, any online businesses. This is really, really helpful and start testing these out. If you do upgrade, you also will have an analytics section just to show you how many people are interacting with this, how well this is actually performing for you so you have more data to be able to show for this. Let me know in the comments down below if this is something that you're going to be trying out. I would love to hear your feedback on it. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you found this helpful and you know of anyone else you think would find this helpful, please do consider sharing it and I'll catch you on the next one.